A long time ago, we all gathered together in heaven. To see the church 10,000 strong, nearly one in every 10 citizens in Ulaanbaatar are members of the church. <laughs> the day came that our Heavenly Father called us together and called this family together and said, go down to earth with the understanding that I will never, ever leave you alone. The church has been born in a day in Mongolia that the people seem to be believers. They seem to respond. They, they are responding to the gospel. That speaks to the faith of the people. I haven't come halfway around the world to tell you a fairy tale. I haven't given my life and my time and my energy, nor they, nor all that are, that are serving. We don't do that except we would not do it except that it's true. So believe it, and live it, and, and keep the commandments, and be obedient, so that we can all safely go back to our Father in heaven. They're new to the church. They're first generation. They, they, they have to be, because that's as long as we've been here. I'm going to do something I've never done in a missionary meeting before. I'm going to teach what is for me the most fundamental, essential doctrine of the gospel of Jesus Christ that as the church is new in Mongolia, and as you are relatively new missionaries with it, Mongolia being as recent and as new a mission field as we have in the church, elders and sisters, you have got to understand who you are. Keep building this new, new, new church in Mongolia and a new, new generation of missionaries who have to go back and be the elders corn presidents and the Relief Society presidents and the bishops and stake presidents and husbands and fathers and send out another, another generation of missionaries. It's really important what you're doing and who you are. They've had to learn it fast and on the job training in the first generation. So you've got all those challenges of, of a steep learning curve for people to know how to lead, what's church policy, what's even what's church doctrine. Make sure they keep studying and know the doctrines. All the problems of fallen man, fallen women, fallen us, they all get resolved in the doctrine of Christ. We talked about establishing the church firmly, getting it started off right, on the right foot. We talked about the strength of families and the need for families, for husbands to be good husbands, even while they're trying to be good branch presidents and good bishops. It's a pretty basic message and probably one we've given since the earliest days of the church. Been a fun trip, good trip, spiritual trip.